you can apply the shifting theorems either singly or both at the same time but you got to be prepared to recognize which shifting theorem you're going to apply in a given situation and if you apply both the proper order for applying them so for example take a famous transform like 3 factorial over s to the fourth you know that comes from t cubed so what am I doing if I have 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the fourth it's related to t cubed but what did I do I shifted the transform instead of s I have s minus 2 when I shift the transform I'm applying the first shifting theorem that means I must multiply the original function by an exponential here shifting two seconds to the right the exponential was e to the 2t now what if I see 3 factorial times s or divided by s to the fourth multiplied by e to the minus a s I see the same t cubed transform but with an exponential modifier on the outside that's the second shifting theorem that says when you multiply a transform by an exponential you must have shifted and delayed the original function the original function was t cubed what did I shift and delay by e to the minus a s a is one so I've shifted and delayed t cubed by one second. So I write t minus one cubed times u one of t, shifting one second to the right, delaying the beginning of this function until one second occurs. I could have both of these applied at the same time. I could have a shifted transform and an exponential applied to that transform. In which case I would say what's the shifted transform where did that come from I know that 3 factorial over s minus 2 to the fourth came from t cubed times e to the 2t and the exponential on the outside shifting it and delaying it one second well I'll take t cubed times e to the 2t and I'll shift it by one second t minus 1 cubed e to the 2 times t minus 1 and then I'll delay it delay the beginning for one second and now I have u1 of t times t minus 1 cubed times e to the power 2 times t minus 1. I have applied both the first and second shifting theorems in that example.